What's up, everybody? This is the Poker Coaching Study Session. Today, we're going to be looking at the part two of the exciting Mystery Bounty $150 Saturday Secret KO from Frank. So, let's pick up where we left off with Pocket Queens. What do you guys prefer here? Call or raise? I mean, I'm probably putting a raise in, to be honest with you. I'm probably making it like uh, five and a half or six, maybe six. You ever just calling to let one of those guys do the dirty jams? Because when you three bet here, it's tough for them to re jam light on. I mean, I'm not. I'm three betting a hundred percent range, or a hundred percent there, not hundred percent range. But it's a PKO, so there's like, uh... I don't know. Sliding queens against early positions also reasonable too. Yeah. Well, let's see what Frank says. Frank says call. And we get it quick. Yeah, now you're super under wrapped. So now I'd say that's small because we're multi weight, right? Yeah, multi weight completed equity. Check yeah. raise. Do you raise him back? Raise. You don't Go. raise him back because you block too many too many queens, right? Yeah, yeah. You just keep you just call. You're in position. We're gonna see what he does on the turn. No, Frank's Oops. back. <laughs> yeah, I think you should probably just call here. Yeah. If you're going to three bet, why not just literal click to nine point or ten, whatever it is? Uh oh, the sizing police is here. I mean, if your idea is that he's priced in with everything he check raises, you got to make sure it's true, right? Yeah. Eh. Huh. Just stone good. click him. But yeah, yeah, I think call's better. Your call pre-flop was pretty sweet, but you should keep on calling. At least just to say because you have position and then if he checks, you can still easily reopen the action. I like pre that. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. What about Another this one? Another good flat against DP. Okay. Do you have a sim for this, Frank? Well, you don't. Probably don't, right? I don't think so. I have. No, I don't think I have it. What do you think is the mm -hmm. best strategy here with the church? So flat? Yeah, probably. Always slotting, no raising. We really need Anything? to go in, right? Yeah. That's then, the plan. One, so, so one of them is in, we just go in. Yes. Okay, checks. We have a big spade. I think we can bet. Man, that was aggressive. Was oh, it? second. Hmm, maybe we should bet here some, no? A little 20%, 25%. Okay. I think you should. How did how did you get here? Is that that guy in the big blind? Was this like a shorthanded table? Oh, this no. is what happened. UTG. Oh, you chose to flat. Okay, so you were flatting to try to capture jams behind. I see. Okay. Exactly. What do you think about stab flop? Still think, yeah, we should bet. Here. Could be. I prefer to stop. I think it's really kind of like uh, indifferent. I don't think it really matters if you bet or check. You have the best unpaired hand, so. And you also have a spade.
just seems like one will want to stab often with a variety of stuff. Maybe. Okay, so if we do this... And we cover him, right? So on the flop, it's mixing. It's a majority check, I guess. Would it be small if it bets? It's got to be small, right? Is it normal quarter. freeze out? Chip PV? Yeah, quarter. Same We're thing. in the mystery phase now. It's secret, secret bounty. We're in the money. So I think yeah, that but, it's uh, sim, sim and wizard is uh, Chip PV, right? Oh, it's Chip PV sim, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so he checked the turn. <clears throat> yeah, check, 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 check. And then the top pair pairs, and he does this. I believe we have a calling him. I would. I, I'm kind of with you, Louis. I'd be very tempted to flick in a call here. So the reason why I want to call this bet size, I believe, is designed to make us fall. So that's the number one reason why I want to call. Second mm -hmm. is. The nine, I don't think he would check a uh, nine to streets to all of a sudden start to bet it on the river. Typically, I agree. And then an eight probably would not bet like that. So that's the that's the fear, I think, Louis. It's like, how thin is this guy going for value? If he has like, I don't know, a seven, eight or something, is he finding this bet? Yeah, there's no wrong in folding here. But if you want to make a hero call, you'd probably want to have a, a big spade in your hand. You know, so, the flip side is like, wouldn't he bluff sooner? Like, I think it's more likely he has jacks with a spade than he has queen jack off with a spade that didn't bluff flop or turn. So the one thing I would think about that, Danny, is, OK, if he has jacks with a spade, do you think that hand's betting out of position at some frequency on the flop? Depends on the guy, probably. OK, maybe. If he checks flop, do you think a hand like that is checking or is... But you can make the same point? argument for any bluff. Not really. I mean, there's hands that are incentivized to bet, and then there's other ones that aren't always incentivized to bet. Uh, he has a, uh, a strong value component with a hand like Jack-Jack, but it's vulnerable. Like, uh, what, 40% of the deck, 35% of the deck is going to downgrade his hand? So, you know, your weakest top pair or your vulnerable top pairs and weakest over pairs usually kind of want to front load some of their value. Especially if you're just, facing like check, 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 check. We stuff. all project our own way of playing onto villain. And so for me, I think villain's going to be too value heavy here, but that's mm -hmm. just me. Yeah. So you draw a call when you have the king of spade, but not when you have the ace of spade. Right. So it makes sense. So it's probably not a great call after looking at range. Hey, will you do me one favor? Will you just look at UTG flop range briefly? Sure, check. Oh, okay, heavy, heavy check. One of the heaviest bets is the vulnerable over pairs. And I'll go to turn after it goes check, check. UTG one. Now the fun begins. Now it starts to bet again. One of like the most prominent bets in the range, yeah. along with some of the bluffs. But it's still like mixing, pretty heavy check too. Sure, sure, sure. It is in Absolutely. theory. I did, it's a sanity check for me more so than anything. Okay, so Frank folds. Yeah, for sure. Probably a good fold. And I just both are reasonable. I agree I just... with you guys though. I don't mind catching here. I just ran it on uh on the uh, uh, wizard ICM thing. Okay. Mm. And, and um, it looks like so he bet one twenty five on the river. Is that right? Uh, uh, mm -hmm. About that, yeah. Yeah, it mixes calling. It really really likes calling with the king of spades. Um, mostly. Oh, right. Right, so they... Here, I'll, I'll send it to, I'll send it to you in Discord LP. I have a chat here. 
Oh, in the chat? Okay. Yeah, yeah you could just paste it in the chat. Yeah, that's right. Where's, where the hell's the chat? Oh, here it is. All right. <laughs> okay. I did. Okay, so it's calling more. Look at this. More calls. Oh, yeah, I don't mind it. Yeah, but the ranges are off, you know. Um, They're dead. Well, I was gonna, I was gonna mention that. So, like, if there's less mixing of ranges, so it's probably pushing it more to a call, just because he's got more bluffs in that range. Also, it doesn't include PQ. I don't know if it matters. So, either way, it's close. Make it's close. Makes decision. Either way, I think if he bet like five or six, I would always fold. I think I'd like to fall a little bit. Too wait, much. wait, you would fold always if he bets smaller? Yes. All right, bluff Louie for cheaper. Because, <laughs> because if he bets five here, I think it's uh, less polarized. So but I have a question. Be... So okay. he has more vo volume bets? I, yeah. I have a, like, like a fundamental ATEX? theory question. Yes. I like fundamental theory questions. We know that in mystery bounties, we're covering this guy. There's shorties behind. We're flatting like 70% of our range in this spot pre, let's say. Okay. How does that affect uh, how we're defending our range post? Because like this becomes higher in range given that we have so much junk. But do we care? Do we have to like defend more stuff or do we just let it go a lot? Or should we be stabbing more? Like, How do we kind of balance that fact, you know? Uh, we defend less versus bigger bets because we get worse price. I know that. I, would, uh, I know that's I would actually normal. Say, uh, I would actually say, Danny, it's probably lower in your value component because, like, you're going to be more we saturated. Have every with... flush now. Well, you've got a lot. You got a lot of flushes. You're going to be more saturated with aces, kings, queens, and things like that. Ace, king, suited. And, yeah, but uh, we have so much offsuit trash that we would never have ordinarily. Maybe so. Maybe more so. Yeah. I don't know. The Just range... something to keep in mind when approaching these spots. Like, our range is really weird. It's going to throw off everything. In theory. Right. I, I have seen for this end. Okay. What do you think we are supposed to bet and how much? I'm betting, uh, I'm betting like a third or a quarter here some of the time, and I'm playing check some of the time. Yeah, I was thinking check a lot, to be honest with you. But I, I don't know. I don't think it's well, a check because the the deuce is a brick, we agree. The eight the seven doesn't really connect with him, right? Well it, we it have a small eight. blind. It, mm -hmm. he's a small blind, it connects very well with him, I would say. I don't okay. think so. If it's like queen ten, sure. But if eight seven, I don't know. Okay, so all the ranges are in the silver channel, Louis? Okay. In the, in the thread called How did you say no white did you say I was last night? If we're what against I, big blind only, I would I call you? be 55. I don't know. You called me something last time. What did I call you? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I remember what he called what you. It? Navigationally challenged. <laughs> <laughs> okay, help me out. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Joe Biden right now. Where am I going? So there. <laughs> Where am I? Lower. Okay. Lower. Wait, so, all right, if we're heads up, up against small blind, are you blind? It's Over here, like right? small bet. If we're against big blind, it's big bet. This here. When right? You combine both their ranges. King nine suited. Is this what happens? Ten -o. Oh, it's not. King ten -o. Wide ranges. All right. King ten -o. Oh my All goodness, right. it's God of MTT. That changes everything. So when I say it interacts with the small blind range, I'm thinking like they have five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, all of that kind of stuff. They have hands that wrap around here pretty well. There's flush yeah. trolley things, there's like Jack Ten. But Whereas... remember also in theory he should be flatting super wide here. Wider than usual. Small blind? Yeah, okay. of course. He covers big blind. Did he? Yeah. He should expand a little bit. Yeah, I would say. We'll so. see his range. It's gonna be. Let's see. How, yeah, how, is, how much should you expand? How, like right there. Like well, are you two picks? If the bounties are alive, 
you want to see you want to see flops with people you cover if the big bounties are yeah. alive. So this is like cutoff range, and we are a logic. Right. So yeah, pretty aggressively wide, all things considered. Okay. Oh, you didn't show small bone range. Oh yeah, I forgot to pause, but it will be in the multi-way so. Big blind calling range, so it doesn't have top of range. Typically, no. So, did you craft this uh, range from the big blind there, um, Frank, or is that what it actually looks like? Yeah, it's from HRC. Okay, I, I, I'm just, I wasn't sure if you had maybe locked it. It just looks strangely kind of linear. Like, it just looks well, it's very, very clean. Because also, the jamming is linear always, right? Yeah. So my guess would be like polar because how would you bet they say or pocket nine, right? Kind of polar. sizing. Yeah. And then you have a spade which kind of allows you to be to bet. So I, I don't I don't hate it, Louis. I don't hate it. And you can make king jack, king queen fold. I believe it's betting more than just spades. Uh. So what is purple sizing one? Um. Half oh, pot, right? Okay. So it is going polar with eights and pocket nines and stuff around that pocket nine. And then small bet is orange. More <laughs> small bets like bottom set, right? <clears throat> or a seven, right? So half pot is it's obviously wanting to go a little bit larger. And then yeah. we're betting half of the time here, fifty fifty. With this combo or just overall with range, this combo is betting more often. Oh, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this looks good. I mean, I don't see anything too shocking here. I, I like the bet. Okay, one thing I think um, we can notice you bet a king 10 more because you get better kings to fold, and a nice king is betting less because it doesn't get anything else better to fold. I yeah, think it's also an equity protection thing. Like, I don't know if you want to turn a hand like Ace King that kind of wants to see a cheap showdown into a bluff, or King Ten. It's kind of like you said, you just get better to fold. Yeah, and, and also Ten X wraps around eight seven. Right, Frank, do you remember so suits? Nine looks good. Is it like both Spades and the King of Hearts are doing it? Which hand do you mean? Like, like King Ten O is it like King of Spades, Ten of Spades, King of Hearts? It's everything, Danny. It's oh, three quarter of them. I don't think it's Club Diamond. You're For sure, it's not Club check. Diamond. You're splitting here, so. All right. Yeah, let me open the seam. That's fine. I just wanted to see. Um. Okay, small blind. Maybe facing, it's not King of facing Hearts. Facing our big bet. So small blind's supposed to continue with all of his sevens, all of his eights. He's supposed to check raises with an ace eight. He's supposed to check raises. So he's not closing the action, this guy here. So he's not protecting his range that much. Well, look at his uh look how he actually is very saturated around these two cards. Seven, so he's got a lot of stuff that is calling. It just seems like his best top pair and He's just fast playing two pairs. So you were yeah, right. Looking... He, he kind of has good coverage with sevens and eights. He's he's got really good coverage with sevens. Look at the there, so... branch, though. Are you out there defending your small blind with jack seven? Ten seven? Um, I'm gonna say no. I'm Maybe I'm not player. enough. I think you would defend this in mystery, you know? Louis. It's mystery bounty in the money, oh, and, and you and cover the big bounty, blind. Bounty? Who knows what Gavin defends? <laughs> well, it, well, it really just uh, it depends. Like if the guy behind me is significant or sufficiently short enough, I'm definitely I'm going to be a criminal, you know. Yeah. Galen, you don't have to raise. <laughs> he probably defend with just one card. But all right, so he has the suited coverage, but he also has every offsuit Broadway combo. Like he's pure flatting all these king ten off, jack ten off, queen ten off, ace nine off, everything. All that whiffs like very hard on this board. Mm -hmm. And there now... are more combos. This is after small blind full. Uh, this is the big blind range, and the big blind is now raising a lot of his eight. Well, Jack 10 has a gutter, but anyway. So, almost is it? all of his best eights. 
Okay, what is see, he's not raising two pair here, it looks like very much, right? Only half the time. Eight seven or not at all. Eight, seven. Right. Seven. No. Oh, he's trapping. This is after bet call or bet fold? Bet fold. Bet, bet fold. fold. So he now, you know, after he folds, he's playing his top pairs fast. Okay. Oh. We have some interesting comments here. Let's see what we have. Small blind needs eight and nine in range. No one is calling queen deuce and king three there. Okay. He's, he's probably right about that. <laughs> this is a big line range. King, oh yeah, I think he's right. I'm not in there with those. What about you guys? Yeah. Is this guy, is this guy double covered? No, no, this guy covers big blind. I thought that was big blind closing. He's Am covering just the big blind. That was small blind. Pat uh, Brooks was complaining small blind flat range is too wide. I, I I kind of agree. Like I don't know. Yeah, yeah Frank Gomez. Silver output. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So Pat okay. would probably. I think be it's right. worthwhile looking at both, but it just takes a long time to yeah. look at equilibrium and then tune it to what we think they might do. Check that one out too. Yeah, I think it's important. Like he brings up a good point. You know, the outputs are solely based on inputs, so it's like just because it's optimal doesn't mean it's actually what's like according to whatever you put the settings as doesn't mean it's actually what's happening out there. We know very interesting opinion. Thank you, Pat. Okay, so we could we should size up. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, bad turn, bad turn. He leads, yeah. man. Party's over. Is it over? For me, it is. Do you have turn sim? But it's not the two. I think you can get. No, it's probably fine. He probably does have some leads on this card. I like the fold. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, my thank goodness. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, nice defense. Thank you. So that was your first bounty. What was that one, Frank? Do you remember? Fifty dollars. Um, um between ten dollars and fifty k, I think. Good, so good range. You can't. It can't be ten. Good range. Funny. I like a range bet. Uh, do you want to go actually a pure one -er here? I don't think so. I think if this is a dynamic, connected enough board. You might want to size up a smidge. Where's the sizing police when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> wee -oo, wee -oo. Oh, sorry, what's up? Look at this. Um, mm, We made a big bet here a little bit. Oh. Okay. I just don't know. Okay. I just don't I... know if you're. Well, look at uh, Ace... Ace Five of Ace Five yeah, of yeah. Diamonds. Look at Ace yeah. Five of Diamonds with no back door. Do you want me to run it? Do you want me to run it? He's he's about to pull it up. It's gonna be fine. Looking at the. Chicken. Okay, we have twenty percent. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's fine, Frank. Yeah, there's definitely some one point two in there. Louis, show Ace Five of Diamonds. What no. do we do? No. Mostly no. everything. Thank you. No. 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 See, that's why I get a little dicey about the super, super small bet. I feel like it just gets clicked so much. But I don't know. Projections, what did, what did right? I, do? I don't mind uh, jamming this. It should honest. get clicked more, but also it just works a ton. It does. It depends, though. Do we jam in mystery as well? I or think it's more of a jam in mystery, Arturus. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't know if this is psychological, but I have a I have a B twenty button, and like I feel like the, you know they see the one the one point one is or the one point two bit is like less likely to get clicked than just the one. People are like, oh, it's one. Like, fuck you. I'm gonna check raise you with shit. <laughs> there, there is some truth to that, I think, but you know, I don't know how you would measure that. <laughs> Down but to I, what king do you jam here? Uh, maybe king king ten seven. It's a little much for King Seven, I think. Maybe start min raising or like three xing some of those. King 
King 10, I think, is a slam dunk. King 9 is probably pretty good. If you go much wider, you're kind of a... I would limp this. We want to keep access. Like, when we jam and get called, we're not always... We're rarely in, like, good shape, if even... What, what about 12 bigs? What, what, how far do you go down? To 12. How, how about... I mean, what I'm saying is, how far do you go down with kings if he had 12 bigs? So, Dude, I'm jamming, like, Maybe every all king. of them. I'm yeah. jamming every king. Probably all of them. At that point, it's like whatever. Yeah, Let's I think see. limp and jam should both be great I think we in do. the spot. Or even, do you want to? problem. I, I would rather raise than limp. I'm not running a soup kitchen over here. I'm not giving out free meals. <laughs> I want to keep in his nine five off, man. It's okay. We don't have that sim for it. Be... No, but you can check some PKOs, and it will be jamming very wide. Yeah, just look at a PKO situation where you cover 2x and he's got a round. Uh... All right, yeah, listen to him. 19, something like this. Sort of a small blind. And give him a huge bounty. Why You're not in PKO. Blind? You're not in PKO. Why do we start by a small blind here? Because it's, it's the most important range. To... I don't know. You could do it by big blind if you wanted, I guess. Um... It doesn't really matter. This How much she had? 19. Small line of 1920. You mean big blind, Frank? Yeah, big blind had 19 or 20. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Same <laughs> difference. We know what you mean. Uh, I would go yeah, that one. What about that uh, 2617? That one looks good. 17. Or 3320. I feel like mm -hmm. if you hit 20, you're just going to start losing chance. Just sort on the big blind, Louis. Let's see if we have an 18 or a 19 or something. Oh, wait. Let's just see. Oh, look, they, they, they show you how much the bounty's worth in big blinds. That's cute. Right, so... Oh, like it is King pure six, raise. Okay. King 6 is jamming. King 5 is jamming. And then it wants to, like raise some of these other ones will you look at uh like king nine and just compare like the call ev to the jam ev see if it's just like torching just to see where it wants to like well not torching mm. but to see where it wants to prefer does it prefer flatting over um so they're all pretty equal jamming's actually the um least profitable of those two now if you go down to 17 this whole region i bet just starts lighting up like if you look at that other one where it was twenty eight seventeen, you'll see a little more action. Not really a ton, but it starts waking up some of these combos. King ten coming in, king nine's good, king jack's good, king six, king five, whatever. So two, seven, oh. Two, 14, call. Scan. Okay. Yeah, I think it's an easy jam here. What do you guys think? Uh, I, I think I just like jamming. You're getting called definitely wider. Hello. Krypton. Queen seven. Uh, you cover. I think it's good open. I mean, it's cut off. A criminal approves. Check. Do we bet this? Strange. Uh, you have a seven, which is a valuable card. You're unblocking some of the flushy components. You got queen high. I feel like this is probably a good bet. And if you're going to bet, you need to bet on the larger side. Are we not blocking the folds with spades? Uh, you would be blo unblocking his continues. So if you do bet, you would need to size up a little bit. And then if we bet and we face a raise, it's a like Martin is saying, we get hurt, no? And by a well, little bit, by a little bit, you... 
size up a little bit to are you thinking the like means so little bit. Okay. are you th thinking or like b60 or are you thinking I would like probably b60 here uh, I bet bigger like 75 to pot well blockers are a thing but he can still have a flop flush here and two pairs and stuff so you can't be too disrespectful I don't think. I watched the BBC Simon. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but it... So if you see, there is some 56%, some 85%. Uh, there is a little 30%. Polar strategy. Or a little checky. A little checky. Look at this. It's spot on. The sevens are betting a lot. Yeah, that makes sense. Right, they block the straight, same as five. So like and big sizes. Even like pocket ten, like at this. Can you go over Queen Seven of Clubs? See what Queen Seven of Clubs is doing? Um, it's going absolutely pretty big. Eighty percent. Oh no, I missed it. So four. Hmm. When you get called, that's not what size did you go, Frank? I it was one third. Very small. You went a third. You went a third. Okay. Hmm. And now he leads. Uh, I would be calling, but I can understand people may have opinions about folding. I I'm just under the impression people do this often. They play See, board textures to protect their uh, their their draws. See, I believe like we see this play often, right? Okay, but I also believe that people are not balanced when they do it. They just are so face up when they do it. I believe people when they lead like this, they just have it most of the time. Sometimes it's a good player that makes it play, but most of the time it's just somebody who has it. So what would this three be in terms of he has it? Like, okay, so you were saying he has a flop straight and like this. five, From five, seven. his leading size, okay, I can already tell, okay? I mean, does he have sets here? Just just based on sizing really. that he's, he's value-oriented. Okay? If he were like, it was like two, three, something like that. That would be like a six, a four, you know. Uh, but this is, you know, more than half, kind of. So on the upper, like, portion of the, the it's sizing up. So He is sizing up a little bit, and I, I do have uh, some respect for that. It's usually a little more transparent. Let's see uh, what Frank said. Frank what you're doing. He's I think gonna Frank fold. is going to fall. He's going to fall. Come on, my boy. Fall that yeah. shit. Come on. <laughs> oh, let's go, Frank. Yeah, I wouldn't pop the river if you check to me, so. <laughs> well, that's my problem. Okay, that's my intentions. Like, if he, ch if we get, like, a brick, let's say, like, Jack of uh, Diamonds hits the river and he plays check, I'm just going to, I'm probably just going to pile it in his face. Oh, you criminal. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing that. Maybe I am. You? Oh my goodness. I don't want to think about it, James. Ooh. Oh, that's uh... a nice coffee. Is this the worst one you call or the best one you fold? <laughs> best one I fold. So I try to run this one, and the guy on my left is not supposed to having raising range. Right, he's supposed to just pure flat access, it, right? Because right? yeah, he cover it. he covers you. He wants to keep the eight point seven seven access and the sixteen nine four, yeah. typically. Yeah, I don't spot in those spots. <laughs> so what kind of what kind of raising? I mean, he obviously has a raising range. So what what do you put his range at here? Because like a lot of ace, a lot of like ace king, ace queen, very linear. Or do you feel like he's going to be a very polar? 
Well, you would have to just adjust it to what you think a three betting range in a ICM scenario, no mystery bounty component would be. That would be the first assumption. So, like, I don't know. It's probably going to have some stronger components, like Ace Kings. He's going to have in here. He's going to have maybe pocket jacks, pocket tens, maybe some Ace Six, Ace Five suited stuff. Yeah, I like folding here. What do you like, Gavin? What would you? Play? I don't know, man. It's either the worst one I, I call or the best one I fold. Okay. I'm honestly this node. I'm I've been too sticky. I've made mistakes, costly yeah. mistakes here. So, I think my current iteration, I'm just folding this. I've been hurt a lot here. Continue. I've, oh, yeah, okay. I've been I've been hurt too. Like, if you look at that chart, it's probably gonna say like, ah, oh, it's supposed to call. But if you use, like, uh. I hate it when the chart uses that voice with me. It's so common. <laughs> I know, right? I know. <laughs> it looks at me, and when it starts like that, I'm like, oh. Uh, See now, you you the... you're gonna you're gonna put your bias in here, Louis. I'm gonna help you here because I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I've got a pair. I'm gonna want to flop this guy, but it's like the same thing almost. Like maybe you are supposed to call. No, no. This is an easy call. You cover. It's a mystery bounty. You are covered in the big blind. Yeah, I mean, okay, whatever. I would be calling here. Who am I? I'm not joking. Who am I kidding? You'd probably be there with who knows what. No club. Would you just continue fold. with a club? Probably not, right? I would just. Well, I don't know. A club's kind of oh. interesting because you do have three straight here. And if you had three flush to go with it. Overfold to the ace. I agree, Scotty. Yep. Uh, we, can, <laughs> we can fold even this new swear. This just depends. Moment. If the big okay. bounties are still in, I'm jamming. If the big bounties are not in, I'm probably just folding. I have a seam for this one. Okay. What do you think is the worst pair that EP is jamming? Uh, the worst pair. I think he's more blocker oriented. Well, okay, so it really depends. Like, what kind of parameters did you put in for the sim? Did you do like a KO structure with an estimated bounty or? Yes. Okay, so it's the... three buys, I believe. But it's either five fund. Yeah, I think it's five hundred. Like okay, put. okay. So if it's on the higher end of buy-ins, like a three or more. I think he's going to lose all of his low pairs and kind of shift towards blocker oriented hands. So like he might even fold like uh, fives or sixes or something because he's getting called so wide, you know, he needs uh, to kind of block the call range or like have cards that dominate some of the calls. Where, where can we see this in? Yeah. MKO channel and the thread is called ITM hunting. MKO ITM hunting. Uh, on the fold. So EP jam range, I overestimated it. He's jamming. Can we see on screen? No, we're seeing. He's actually wait. No, what's going on? Why no. does it? Hmm? It says this guy's twenty six point three seven big blinds deep. Did I, did I look at the wrong thing? Is it? I think you have the wrong... No. I think I... Oh, maybe I'm looking at the wrong one. Did you put multiple in here? You said ITM yeah, hunting? Yeah, there are two spots. Oh, you did. Okay, I see now. So this should so be... So it is fives. Um... It is fives. All right. So, so it has moved up a pip. Or so. And then when you get to the cutoff, I would put him at more like, I don't know. I'd be surprised if he didn't have more like suited high card things in here, but maybe he's still got a little, um, a little wiggle room. So this is the range we should be going with in a mystery bounty. When we yeah. cover and they big blind shove from EV. Oh. 
side to side. Okay. Boom. Cannot assume this is automatically happening. Uh, rest looks. Do we do we have of uh, like let's say big blind over call after we jump? Mm, I can check it one. Did you follow up with uh, Patrick Brooks's uh, suggestions about checking the reactive strategies that are going on to see if they make sense? Uh, I'm not sure if I checked. Uh, wait, oh, big, but he's talking about different spot. Uh, oh, is he? Yeah, it's oh, sorry, five, sorry, sorry, so sorry, 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 yeah. So, gives us a pretty good idea of what the range should be, right? Um, right. Big blind, we go pretty in. wide. Like 60%? Oh, I was going to say, you should, you should look at that, Louis. How wide do you think the big blind should be? Uh, coming in here. Yeah, yeah, if they have forward position screenshot. I wonder. I would agree. The big blind should be an absolute criminal. He should be getting in there with uh even button, right? Oh. Uh, the, I think the button a little bit less because he's covered in the big blind. But big blind is in it, I would say. Okay, post in the chat, the big blind response. Uh, Almost person. every suit attempt. Right. Yeah, this is... Wow. You're right. The big blind gets to be a real criminal. He risk, uh, He's risking one-third of his chip stack, essentially. And you saw a little him over a third. Like, you already know. It's a double it's booty done. overlay. Yeah, the double Are booty Are the big overlay. ones still out? I think he said the average is around three buy-in. So it's... They've lost a little bit off the top, but it's still... Hey, juicy. Uh, so you can fold... You can fold seven do suit it, that's about it. <laughs> but yeah, that screenshot, that's like what we need to imprint on our mind when we're playing these things. Yeah. Yeah, I'm already to it. Oh, I, I there's a, there's an alternate strategy that makes sense to me, which is don't play these things. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is a weird spot because EP limped, guy opened to. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy didn't see him limping. <laughs> they see me limping. <laughs> nah, what I, are pity, I pity any player who this is the first time they watch a study session and they see you playing like this and they go, oh, that's how I should play? Man, oh, man. You can't fold. I think no. you just put it, you just put it in, man. Can you? You don't close the action. Well, what, what what are your other options? How like... often is the big blind ever raising here? I'm pretty sure the big blind is the sandwich guy here. So, if you play call, nothing good. Are can... you are you ever folding the turn ever? No, no. Okay. You're probably not. SPR, we're dead. Whatever happens, do you agree? You're never gonna yes. get pulled. Yes. So as long as you're just my just concern is up. not seeing five cards. If you've already made your bed, as we all know you should, then do it do what you want here. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, SPR two. Okay, you never fold really tough. Why not put it in now then, Louis? Because you can still get this guy to play and you still have ants in your range that could wanna see a turn. And yeah, but a team needs protection. You can Play call with those hands. And Which hands want to see turn? Pocket hands. Danny, why do you want to get a? Why do you want Don't to jump free and fold? Because yeah. what's Scotty? Why do you? What, what's the reason to get the thirty-seven big blind to fold? Because that's what you're. That's what you might accomplish. You're. You're almost never going to get the sixty to fold. If he folds, then we lose the tournament less often. Do we have a sim for this? Do we? No, when no, it comes no. queen or jack, we just we don't lose anymore as often. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I really like the call here. I think it's the best option. Now it comes queen and GG. 
Right. Okay. All right. Send GG. No, yes, we don't care. We have the 10. Yeah. Yeah, we're great. That's the one argument I like for calling is like, we don't care if it comes ace because we have the 10. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's really no bad turn cards that really downgrade your hand terribly versus that range that would be betting like that. Like, he's not taking, uh, you know, a jack and, and betting into two players like that. So it, it really doesn't matter what happens at that point. Your bet's kind of made. Right. But the, the guy on our left can have every jack, right? To overcall jack nine, jack yes. ten, he's jack. He, he has well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you do let that guy in, there are some turn cards that you don't like, but there's still too much money in the middle for you to care, I guess, would be the thing. Because you have you have straight outs, always. Yeah, I'm not greedy. I don't care to triple up. I just want to deny and and try to win some uh, it takes. It depends on the inputs, Martin. But typically, like the more complex these sims are, uh, the the deeper they are, it takes a lot. What do you think is the best play here? Uh, I'm tempted to just jam. Do we have some? We don't cover. Yeah, oh, we cover big I was running the sim and it crashed. I was running too many sims <laughs> at this moment, and yeah. <laughs> Oh, we don't have. Based okay, on because... what we've seen in every other sim, it should just be a call, right? Why would we want to? Why would you just play? Uh... Okay, so what would be the benefits of playing call here over like uh, jam or not all in raise or something like that? I don't think. I mean, do you want to induce King Jack? What are you doing, not all in raising? What does bond to power here? I'm not. I'm. I'm. T I'm more advocating for Three. jamming. And if you do that, it's more of a. It's more of a bluff, really. Like you. You kind of want folds. Jam yeah. sucks because you just get called by everything that beats you. Like the the thing in these mystery bounties, we've learned they don't fold, right? So if you jam, you get called by Ace Five. You're behind. Yeah. If you, you get called jam. by. If you get called by like nine ten. If you get called by like Ace Five. If you get called by pocket fours. We're not that upset. And you still do get called by King-10 sometimes, like King-10 suited, Jack-10 suited. So, I mean, there is start stuff that you dominate. Uh, I don't know. I, I think everyone's very close, and I think you probably get folds often enough that it is something to consider. Sorry, there were many disturbances about. I had it's to okay. wait. Yeah, so look, King Jack, like you can do a um, little bit of everything, but um, if you're looking at just a PKO sim that's in the money, jamming's pretty viable here. Granted, we're a little more shallow. Not ter not a ton, but... Here, yeah, Big Blind's super short. He might not play much defending as opposed to the guy with 20 in-game. But so for every mystery sim we've looked at, like every single one, the facing an open, our range is like pure call. And then as we get short, there will be some jams. I agree. This but I also... don't think King Jack wants to jam. I think it benefits more from playing call and then letting big blind in who we cover and just like seeing a flop, trying to get a king high flop, jack high flop. We dominate a lot of openers range still. What were the hands there? Ace three O and I just didn't. I saw showdown, a four way showdown. I just wanted to see what everyone had. Nine five, queen jack. Yeah, see, this is the kind of situation that I'm not super stoked on. Like, if you jam here, Ace three probably folds, but in theory, maybe probably. should call off. Right, right. So. It's one of those things where, like, the simulation is saying one thing because of specific things that happen. But, like, in practice, um, yeah. it's going to be a little bit different. Like, you probably just take down the pot here, pre-flop, the vast majority of the time. And we need this few blinds. Really but I, 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 I thought... Would play is three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it depends. It's like, has this guy looked at a uh, MKO strategy? We don't know. So he shouldn't be three betting here, right? Oh, I agree. Yeah, no, no, 
It's a little interesting because the big blind has him covered. Right. I agree. It might be a thing. Yeah, because he kind of does want to isolate action. Um, and if he calls, the big blind calls nearly any two. Right. But, uh... And it's, it's another one of those spots where I think small blind, it doesn't change him, him too much whether we flat or three bet. Like, he's either going to go or he's not. Well, he's he's covered by everyone, so his range, his actions are going to be fairly static. I think yeah. he's not really incentivized to put chips in to to hunt anything. What kind of range are we going to have here? Uh, you you, okay, you so cover you cover that one. <laughs> so, so a lot. Any two suited ends? Um, like I would say probably pretty close to that, Louis, because you don't have any other hunting opportunities here. So. Are you gonna um, call like suit the deuces? Yeah, Pro probably not like queen deuce, king deuce. I might start folding jack deuce. Ten deuce, maybe, okay. maybe some ten deuce. It's one chip. I, I, I'm putting in a lot of calls here. The question is, what offsuit hands do you fold? I don't think you fold a suited hand. Uh, so I don't really uh, want to fold much of anything. It's a good question. I don't know. Do you donk flop ever? Nine six six. Uh, maybe. I don't it's know. It's kind of pair board that we do see a little waking up occasionally, right? Not the six. The low low. Why a six? Uh, this is a big blind donk board, not a small blind donk board. We are big blind. You are. You are big blind. Oh. Yeah. It could be a little so, donk here and there, so but I don't know about three way. Oh. Yeah, so UTG has maybe. that 40. You know, maybe. I don't think it's crazy, Danny, but I'm probably just playing check here and uh, going to play check jam. Yeah. Problem is it just when sucks when we're so short for it to check through. Nine than us here, right? Well, you, yeah, all your nines are dominated. Hmm. Uh, I'm the turn. I guess we're uh, in five, six, we? I right. don't think yeah. I like this sizing, Frank. Yeah, I'm not sure. What would you use? All in? I don't hate all in. I don't hate like four or something. You you kind of want to put his ace king, ace queen into a difficult spot. Like there's going to be a lot of it's it's kind of rare that you have top pair here on the flop. It checks through and then you get a low card like that. So um, I I think like you should. Get the value while the getting's still good for your hand. All in? Uh, maybe no, smaller. You... Maybe smaller yeah. again. Like now, you want calls from ace highs where you didn't want them on the turn. Yeah, like two and a half chips here. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, this is this is okay. <laughs> so it's a little silly. Like you probably could have got a little bit more because mm -hmm. like we we found out what his hand was. Like you know. The target was on the point, on the mark. So maybe like I would go like two or three on the river. I'm always getting are we, do, are we doing anything one with anything other than a nine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm, I'm sorry, B Money. What was that? Are we doing that? Are we taking that line with like what? What else are we betting one BB with other with other than a than, other than a nine? Air are we, balls. Are we doing it with the six? Uh, I think you're losing a lot of value if you're doing it with a six. A six was a boat, right? Oh. I Probably. think you want to just do it with your air balls. Like, you're targeting folds from his, like, jack high, his queen high, maybe some king high. And you're targeting calls from ASEX. I just, yeah, I mean, I, I just feel like it's completely face up. Well, it's just face up, right? Like, I just feel like he's he's under the gun. He's kind of uncapped. He's going to have a lot of ASEX. He's ever folding ASEX for one BB. So it just, it just felt... You know, fit face up. I don't know if the other any... the other side of the though B money is while he does have a lot of asex to protect that check range, he's also got a lot of junk in there, like Jack Ten suited that doesn't have flush interaction. Yeah. King Jack off and some of these hands that know that they're getting check raised a lot if they play bet and uh kinda wanna manage the pot. So it, it cuts both ways. Yeah. All I, right. I hear you. All right. Do you jam every king here? Uh, I probably not. 
Right. I would agree. I don't think you're jamming every king here. You're jamming yeah. king six and up? King seven and up. I think you're going to see maybe some jams coming in around the six and the seven. You might see some coming in around the ten and the nine. Um, you're covered here. You don't just want to pile a, a random king deuce. But king deuce, I'm just... It may actually start folding in the sim, but I think just limping is probably going to be good. Okay. Maybe maybe a click raise or something. I don't. Do know. we have like a forex or whatever range? Uh, twenty big blinds. You can start sizing down a little bit, Arturis. Like maybe two point seven five to three. I would three assume it's still I remember, there. like they have so much incentive to play when they cover, assuming bounties are still there. Maybe you do. Oh. Yeah, that's maybe there is well. maybe there is yeah. maybe there is some merit there. I, I I truthfully I don't know the answer to that. I haven't really ran sims to see where it maybe converges sizing wise. It's a good question though. I think it would be like limp or jamming, very yeah, little normally raising. You could look at a PKO sim and kind of maybe get like a yeah. uh, uh, an idea for how it may behave. Mm -hmm. A small bind of many blinds. It's it's not going to be perfect, obviously, but you know it'll uh, at least point towards oh, yeah, this the one. direction. If you're okay limping aces, then you can play limper jam. Which one? This one is good. Twenty forty five. Twenty forty five is going to be reasonable. But I think with oh, them having incentive, so... yeah, we're going to want to raise aces, right? I think so. All right, so try to find one that has like two big blinds less, and let's just see how this behavior changes a little bit. Because I, I think if you you see how the six is starting to wake up, king six off. I think if you drop it down two big blinds, you'll get a better idea of how the the kings behave. If you can find one, like sixteen, sixteen thirty four is going to be a good one. Eighteen is probably okay too. Why do you have a champion logo on your cursor? <laughs> Are you sponsored? No. Did you get hacked? No. Try that six. Try that sixteen for me, just just for for giggles. I just want to see. This one woke up a little bit. Yeah, the sixteen thirty four. Okay, it's still the same thing, but you do see some activation around the six and the seven, and the ten and the nine, but the jack also. Wow. Yeah, now it's starting to pick up the suited wheels too. Right, right. Yeah, they're starting to come in. All right, so mostly limp in general, but if you yeah. want to raise some hands, then you can raise some stuff with it. I would also argue that if people, are, if you find a spot where they're overfolding at all, like anything, um, the aggressive nodes start to become preferred. Mm -hmm. I think you just fold now. Oh. Oh. The nine actually does mm. improve some of his stabs, so yeah. Smeriler. Hmm. He's just gonna have a seven here often, I guess. So how often is this a ten? Never, right? I think hardly ever a ten. Would a seven be. double barrel? Um a it seven like ten would nine. double a seven would double barrel. Uh ten it could be ten nine that just has it really dominated. Although I doubt it. There's too many straight draws and flushy things. Honestly, Jackie. my uh, my calling station potions are are, are Screaming. Even even if you have like uh, the best hand here, Louis, you're gonna have horrible equity realization issues. There's at least half of the deck that's gonna increase uh, the connectivity of the sport. Yes, and, but and and if it goes this, check check, you lose. Consider this: he A can lot. do that for ten value of ten enough on the river. So I'm exploiting when I call here because I know how the river is gonna play. It's gonna check back a range that is overly strong, and value pretty straight. But you're still I, losing I, to that range yeah. now. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm. I'm wondering, like, what? I don't. I understand what you're saying. I just don't see the path to victory. We call what? again and we check check. Check and check and you, you lose to a seven. You, lose, you, lose you said his range is overly strong. Okay, maybe you know, maybe I'm wrong here. Maybe I want to call too bad. Maybe you beat a deuce though. If he's barreling like, uh, Jack Deuce, I don't but know. I'm always calling here just for the playing the river node. 
which I have. You know, Louis, you do have five outs, and maybe you beat a thin deuce here and now that is going to check rivers. So maybe you got some merit there. Maybe. That looks a little dirty, though. He doesn't have the king of spades, right? Yeah. I feel like you're going to realize more equity calling a three bet with pocket eights than trying to uh, navigate this spot. It is a small bet. Ugh. Yeah, it's it's only if he has a worse deuce. This is pretty sucks. good, right? They they cover out. They're gonna go for the bounty. Um, is this pretty good? I feel like what, amazing. What, it could be me, the race. Six it could be limp. It could what be limp. What does we want to do? Uh, limp is something that crossed my mind. Like this. And, uh, yeah, what else? Min some, raising. Yeah. Min raising has also crossed my mind a little bit. I don't think jamming's horrible. I just okay. So, I've had my hand burned in these nodes a lot, and the one thing that I have overestimated time and time and time again is how little you actually jam as ICM increases from these earlier positions. Really? Like, you think like you don't have any chip utility and you're better off just balling up like your equity and going with it. Well, like, as you increase the risk premium, that, that behavior just goes away because it becomes more and more and more of a pun. So I, I'm just super critical about jamming anything in the mid-teens from, like, EP if there's risk premiums. Now, like, I don't think it's horrible. A little, in though, maybe MKL, a little. It's better. Yeah, maybe it is. Maybe it is. And yes, Arturis, there may be a little PTSD involved with that. Woo! Scammy scam. Um, yeah, I'm very curious in MKO what the strat looks like there. If it's like a limp jam strat or... Uh, Do we have a sim for this right now? Or what? On this, on this hand, it looks like what the fours did was oh, suicide. Right. Is That's... that wrong? Uh, he has six big blinds, seven big blinds, and he overcalled, covered. Yeah, I mean, I think yeah, maybe fine. I think it's bad, but you got a pair, man. Yeah, you got a pair, but you're against two against two opponents. Your pair is terrible. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, you got a pair against a, a guy who's decided to jam fifteen EP and a guy who overcalled for the majority of their chips. Like maybe maybe a theory like bottom, but in practice bad. Type of thing. That seems bad. Yeah. I mean, if he if he covered them, it seems that then that kind of stuff makes sense from what I'm hearing. Yeah, I I, I agree with you, Scotty. You covered I think somebody. It makes, it's a it's a pretty solid put your money in if uh you cover. Yeah. Okay. But Triple here we are. Spot. We got we got all the money, man. Scotty, um, what if they just have Ace King, Ace King? Come on. That happened. That yeah, happened. Yeah, that, that's but good. They also, but they also have like ace king, queen jack, and, queen jack yeah. and then you got to dodge half the deck. And, True. You, know. you could just hit a four. You could hit a four. All right. This one's oh, a little okay. interesting. Like, I don't think you call this normally, but because we are playing a bounty format. And you cover both. I would be very tempted to continue for one more street here. Yeah. Could you ever find some weird merge here with the six kicker and raise? Ooh. I don't think so. I no think that's a bit vicious. Yeah, I, I I really think you just kind of have the price to call to hit an eight or a six here. Some of, and like what you about just... check call and lead some turns sometimes. Yeah, yeah. I don't hate that. Like if you get a five or a seven. Maybe. I think only on eight we can need. Okay. And eight is a great. I remember eight. we did some of these multi-way turn leads things, and it did it very merged. It was really weird. You don't have a sim for this, right? Do you? Oh uh, no, I didn't notice the sand. Um, but maybe I have some similar sim. Let's see. Can we see the turn, Louis? Nope. <laughs> no. Nope. All right. Uh, I think for five, for six, or seven, <laughs> you may get some theory leads after overcall. Because we have every straight then, and they have never. Does, five, the six, other, uh, does the button ever have straights there? 
The small blind. I mean, it's, all right. Small blind can have six, seven suited if it comes five. So yeah, that's kind of what the question is. What does the small blind get in the pot with and then call with here? Right, like right. This is a super dry board. He's out five. Of Pete, I'm gonna fold his king by the river. Don't you worry about it. He, right. He's folding five six pre. Then he's he, folding the turn. Why, why would he be folding five six? No, it's Smith three and he covers. He's holding the turn and then the big razor. Five six is not good here. You're too short. It's a it's a mystery though. It's mystery. It's pure play. But like he's also covered by the big blind who's gonna come along. Like five six. Which plays a little bit. <clears throat> which plays into it a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, yeah. what's your strategy here? He's in the four oh. five six mystery bounty. Agree to cover. disagree. Do you call or do you treat it? Oh, uh, mm -hmm. I. Man, it's cut off button is the thing I don't like about this. Like, I kind of want to call because they're going to squeeze a lot. But I also don't want it to go call, call behind. And then all of a sudden, you, you miss know, them. <laughs> you got a you got a bad situation. Like, I, I, I don't know. I, I think sometimes I play call here if the blinds are crazy and I think they're squeezing sufficiently enough. But if they don't, if I don't have the inclination that they're going to squeeze the pot enough, then I'm just going to three bet. I like three bet. For what size? It may not be correct, but I would go six. six five and a half, five or something. Okay. Bring those five. Oh, slicing down. Uh, when you go five, uh, blinds can overcall you. Oh, maybe not to worry. Uh, go five and a half. Then. This is good, Frank. Obviously. Plays itself. Good open, I think, covering the big blind. You get a good flop, that's small. You you like, like these ones. Mean, I don't I don't mean. use I don't use these a ton, like in, on these type of textures. If I could put it's... smaller, I would, you know. I I think it's fine. I don't think it's bad. Justify it, right? Speak now. I think it's funny. I like it. Oh, wait, what happened? I was reading chat. He bet one. He bet one. He bet one. Oh. He says zero. Board, it's not a good thing. He, zero bet right? two. Justify your clients, right? Why so small? Why not? It's too connected. What? Kings, knights, only, only jack, ten, queen, ten, queen, jack. And clubs. But it's too connected. I have if it's king eight uh, four, you can. But like it's this. just gonna want him to go third instead of twenty. It's not a big deal. Five. Yeah, that's kind of what I. Was, that's kind of what I was getting uh -oh. at. Like I, I do want uh -oh. a little if, bit of folds. If sizing police says we don't have a case, we're in trouble. Uh, it's still quite a bit of one one point one five. So it's. Probably not bad. Like if you look at Ace three, for instance, or it's just because it was out of range. <laughs> yeah, well, you, yeah, that's why we didn't see anything there. You can't bet smaller, friend. Well, There's no bargains here. We're not going to do any line. like. He's gonna take a chip and split it in half and throw it at the dealer, like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's spots where it would be great if you could open for like 1.8 bigs. I don't even need to. All right. Now what? The king comes. Uh, you didn't get check raised, so he should not be saturated with King X very much. So me personally, oh, I'm no. gonna bet like four or five, I think. Oh no. Well, could it be a play? We could also What like about catch. check back and realize given that you do have the you have a tiny, tiny bit of showdown value with your ace? You're gonna lose to hands like five four ace four. Okay, uh, so for nice. this reason, we want to barrel some club draws, but not all of them. So do we do this one and check back ace 10 of clubs? I think that's correct, Danny. I think this is a premium one to do it with because you're unblocking likely club combos that he has. That that he would continue and maybe play aggressively with. So if you're going to continue betting, I do kind of like this one. Maybe check back when our side card is higher than the four. That way we can suck out on bottom pair more easily. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't hate that. 
I guess now, five of clubs. Now you're in a pickle, okay? So he's he's bluffing or he's betting, but this is so saturated with bluffs that um I I don't know what to do here. I don't think he can do anything, he just folds. That's kind of why I like barreling the turn, I think. I'm with you. Yeah, why did you choose a... not to barrel, Frank? Because he's in it. <laughs> Let's see how was... often it should do it. Yeah. Well, well so like, I, I, don't, I like your small bets. I like your one bets. But I think you're underutilizing some of the utility of it on the turn. Part of it is like, when you bet super small like that, they're incentivized to check raise a larger sloth of like Tasty. their range. Okay. Do it pure. Right. No, so pure. if... So if they're not check raising you on the flop and you get a top card to pair, it's it's a blank more often. So it should be something that you should be probably be barreling more often if you're gonna be like wanting them to death and half chipping them on the on the flop. You've also left the range very wide so that you have more turn fold equity with a barrel. So you have more yeah. jump. Hey Louis, the larger... let's look at the range versus range tab here. So what is Villain's folding versus pick what? Except uh, forex. I mean, yeah. are, one reason to check is you leave in dominated club draws, but you can fold them off better ace high. You can fold them off queen jack that has tons of equity. May bluff you on the river. You don't get to win on the river, right? If you get bluffed. Yeah, so it's that's an interesting question. Bad. You can look at uh where you're getting folds from, and I would argue like you're. You might even be getting folds from like some um, some bad nine X here. Sometimes. I don't think he's folding nine X. Or the nine X that has blockers to our bluffs, like ten nine might fold the worst ones. Hmm, maybe. Ten nine. You would have to, you'd have to bet kind of big, right? Like it's it's a little bit of a stretch to get a solver to let go of a hand like that, but I think it's worth exploring. Yeah, Louis, show his response to when we go eighty, please. Because we had quite some 80 -ing. So if we look at 9x, 9x is starting to become indifferent, and we do see 9x starting to fold. And that's in solver land, which means, like, in reality, um, it's probably more blue than green. Uh, I don't think getting... people are folding 9x. Could, could be 80 uh, for a third of that. We don't have a well, I can tell you this, Frank, as a data point for me, I'm folding 9x here versus a polarized turn bet. So make of okay. that what you will. You're betting 7. He has 20 behind. It's like quite a scary proposition for him to call and proceed to the river. Well, that's my thought. It's like, okay, like if I, if I call and I have 9x and then I get like a deuce of spades on the river, what, what am I doing? Like, I called the turn to fold versus his bluffs. You know, I, I don't know. I, yeah, I think you kind of get some fold. extra fold equity with the fear of the river bet. They're already fearing their stack. Okay. This is high frequency check because people don't lead for works. Oh, Louis, one more thing. If we go back to turn, did we check out like which uh, club draws we want to check back the most versus barrel the most? It bets every club. Oh, did it bet everyone? Filter the isolate too. clubs. Um, it's the ones it that are blocking his continue. So, like, you want him to have like eight. I guess like the queen eight sometimes, the queens and the eight combos. But yeah. Why do you check I, I, this, right? I think your principle is right, Danny, that you were getting at. You check back on the flop? Is that what no, happened? No, I bet one on the flop. Yeah. Uh, you didn't get raised, and he calls and checks to you again, and then you decide to check. Should um, he have leads here? I believe he might. He could. On the deuce, I, I don't think he does on the deuce. The deuce ah, doesn't maybe not club he might. Oh, you're right. It's just oh, king How many left there, Kero? Wait, Frank, why do you... Less than, less than 18. Less than 18? Yeah. I'm not hey, sure Louis, how Louis, much. Louis had, a, Louis had a question for Frank. Frank, why did you decide to check here? 
Uh, well, sometimes I induce some weird shit with this line, but one and check back turn. And okay. Well, that's a, I mean, that's uh, amazing. That's a... other reason people is this got an MTT? Often, I don't know, ask uh, people okay. often slow play 5x. Um, I would, you... uh, I would, I would suggest this. Like, I, I and... think you're using really small bets a lot and you're using them efficiently. <laughs> But I think you're kind of botching the turn or like overestimating their ranges when they play call. Okay. Like you're incentivizing them to call a lot. And then when they call and play check, I think like you might see monsters under the bed with some of the components of their range. I agree. True. True. I agree. Also, I check back turn to get called lighter on the river. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to take. Well, I mean, play... like, what, argument for him or say your piece first, Galen. Oh, all I was gonna say was like if you're gonna you, if you're gonna play turns like you are playing them, I think it's a viable way to play them. I would just start utilizing a little more, uh, put a little more on the the flop instead of using one. Start using some more like one eight or two, mm -hmm. and then take these lines. But yeah, that's all I was gonna say. So uh, Galen, will you triple battle it? If you take a one line on the flop and you don't get check raised, you get no feedback. Like he he's pretty capped. Like he's got like weak ace x a lot, some some diamond draws, maybe backdoor clubs, middling pairs. Like I, I think you go like bet bet and then yeah, you do triple off on some some runouts. Like this is probably not a great runout to triple off because the flush comes in. Well now we counter him. Yeah, your counterfeit yeah. versus like your value targets. So you would check back this, but like, let's say you got the, let's say you get back the 10 of the 10 of spades. The 10 of spades is like not the worst probably to bet. Although, see like this. Okay. This is a, a great hand to point out. Like when you bet one on the flop, he has to continue with this kind of stuff. And yeah. then like, if you bet on the turn again, he's got a gutty now. Like he's in really a tough spot. You make his life pretty easy. Uh, okay. If, yeah. you know, if you're going to check a street. Why not check flop, Frank? I like no. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Come on. We'll check back weak Show sex strat. The... Show strat, Louis. Do, do we uh, bet six on what or? An a sideboard. Show strat. What do you think is going to happen me. on a sideboard? Run the flop. Because it's way ahead, way behind spot, right? You, he, you, he has a five or he doesn't. You've made promises. I've made promises, but we're looking at theory right now. You doesn't, made it doesn't mean anything for my promises. There is nothing past this door for you. I'm gonna pull it up oh. on the side. Back bro. away. I'm pulling it up right away. now. Back away to where you're from. Don't don't right. make me. I, I don't want to call you the abusive boyfriend. You gotta you gotta let him be him for a little bit. Hey, listen. If you don't <laughs> see where we get my phone, we're gonna see. <laughs> In a minute, we'll be I'm pulling up in a, minute, in a new tab. Apologize. There's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> All right. Louis is going to start apologizing and telling you how much he loves you, and he'll never do it again in a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It smells of Stockholm syndrome. In here. <laughs> I don't mind Frank's logic that people will over slow play 5x, some people. Um, but I also yeah. agree with you, Galen, that his range in theory is quite capped. Mm -hmm. But do we have a three street hand? I'm not sure. Yeah. Is there a I check range right. on the flop? It's a medium small sizing on the turn. Not so really. if you humor me, you can look at like give him 33 on the flop. And then you, you'll see, I bet he checks back more on the turn. But when Ooh. you bet 20 on the flop, you're just not really playing check back with these this part of the range, I think. Ooh. As Danny guessed, it checks a lot. right? 30, 30%. Surprising to me that we check so much. Okay. Sure. You just can't get value with a hand like Kings. But Danny's made promises. Right? Oh, well, it doesn't even really take 33 is the funny thing. It's just like, I mean, Frank's size is good, but because of this, I think you, you have to, you got to keep going. Yeah, you got to, definitely. I think this is, you're being too complacent here. You need to bet. A tiny bit of leading. 
Okay, too high in range. That's the thing, right? Too high in range. Like, if you have a7 here, you can, uh, you know, proceed cautiously, uh -huh. you know, play some of this, but... Louis, That's will you show the villain's call range on the flop? It should be a lot of weak ace -X, some diamonds. He's King also high. raising... Look at the raising range. He's supposed to play fast with a bunch of bluffs here and a bunch of... Fun. Every single five. Is that, a final, is that a final table strategy, Arturis? 5% Yeah, so that's that's final table structure. It's going to be a, a little five? more... Uh, we uh, have some leads here. 5% is not... Uh, hmm. It's good or not, 5% 5% of the field left? Yeah, yeah, it's not... That's, okay. right, that's just talking about pre-flop ranges. I'm saying your post-flop simulation is not 5% of the field left. Like that's only, that's post flop, I see in final table strategy right there, I'm pretty sure. So I, I believe we missed one I'm bet. I'm telling you, it's 5% left. Okay. The pre-flop range is 5%, Arturus. And then say we bet again. So it wants to go here, I don't know, red, 55%, say we bet again. Do we have a three street hand with a queen on the river? Uh, this I don't think you three street this this combo with, or with this a river. Fresh card coming in. It's, put put a blank though. If you put a blank like the seven of spades like, or something, we have to expel this. Is this a, okay. a value? Yes or no? Tell me. I say uh, no because the flush comes in. But I'm we block the flush. I'm checking Look at because SPR. the flush comes in. This yeah, is dude, just... at Chip EV. It's probably gonna want to go for it. Wait, are we are we taking Frank's line? Or are we taking the double barrel line? Uh, I'm taking the double barrel one. Do we you take the double if this double barrel bet, line? Bet, 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 we're supposed to go for it, right? It's gonna be bet bet check, I think. I but think check Chippy because v, now you chop. It's a negative free roll to bet. My okay. guess, okay. Chippy V, we bet bet jump. Uh, well, I don't know. Jack. Look at it, man. I mean, look, I, look at it, I guess you could get your opponent off a chop, but what's bet, the point? Bet, yeah. That bad punt. <laughs> that bad punt. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Put the seven of spades and let's see how this hand then reacts. Seven or six of spades. It doesn't well, really then matter. Then you for sure jam. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, but this seven is of diamonds is more right? interesting. This is GPV. So remember, it's GPV. Blah 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 blah. Calm down a little bit. I think it's a two. Do seven three. of diamonds, Louis. I agree. I think the diamonds is probably going to shut down a lot just because uh, oh, yeah. a lot of his, his continues get there. We, cannot even we have the diamond. I think we can still do it. Yeah. I want to do it. It's going to be close. It's going to be close. I would check. Unless you have a diamond. L L Louis, stop moving. A, a, a little bit. Okay. Like, sure. A well, you bit, need the but... diamond. You need the diamond. And the club. Yeah. I don't know if I would look too far into the club. It's probably it's only the one, combo. That's, <laughs> the one combo. that's weird. Can I move now? Yes. That's weird that you need the club. Anyways, yeah. Uh, man, this is weird. You keep getting ace king in this spot. Uh I kinda like I, I would do this. Yeah, now you can just put it in. He's tired of your shit, Frank. He's like this guy's <laughs> betting me light. He's a jerk. He can't did have he click it every you? time. Yeah, he I can't click see his No, he click folded. Ah, uh, that is the best outcome with Ace King. Yeah, you win without seeing five cards. It is yes. literally. Uh, this might be a pip wide. What do you guys think? I think it's probably fine, but. Good. I feel like Ace Eight is like a slam dunk here. This one might be where I kind of start. What'd splitting. you do? He jams. I'm right. back. Mm. I'm back. Are we? Is this the final table yet, or no? Is this not more of a prank no. hand usually? Um. No. no. Oh wait, you're right. We've been over it's, this song. It's terrible. I think to three bet here. Terrible. Very I wouldn't. That's not all in the no. I, I don't think you guys are surprised yeah, yeah. that it takes three kind of hands versus guy who will not fold much. Yeah, he's not folding much. The nice the bounty is good. Makes this, the bounty makes this feel work like it's a worse idea. Even asking suited is uh, it's so stupid to like. What range do you free bet? 
I feel like I've been in a very similar so... spot with Danny recently. And A eight off was in there. I think A seven off is probably very close. That's what I said. Yeah, I think if you find a range like a PKO one, if you find a PKO one where you're like four X covered and you're around twenty, that'll be pretty indicative of maybe what what should we we should be doing. You need like a big, 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 big blind. Or I'm sorry, not a big blind. Uh, I misspoke. A button. Uh, this is 16, so... I found one where it's, like, calling. It's doing everything, but it's mostly calling. It's yeah, really okay, weird. There, there you go. It's not, it's not bad. Modern meta strategy. Look at the 37, 19, 12. It actually exists. Louis. A branch of methodology errors in original paper. Oh, I guess it's because oh, Big no, Mom's short. Here. The one below Breaking. this one, Louie. Huh? This one? One down, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, one up. Thank you. Are you trying to sabotage? <laughs> I meant one below the one you were on before. Oh, because, one, yeah. because, because, Danny, okay, there's stop. no way to run post flop ICM otherwise with the pace structures. At least that's out there. There's nothing else to benchmark it against. The only other way to do it was uh, with with Pio, which is I'm assuming how they uh, fit Can't this AI, AI solver. Mm. Yeah, so this one where big line short, it wants us to call. Pretty interesting. Jam. Call or flat. Flat's good. Call. Get him. I, I guess it's probably Get a good him. question for the Discord, although they probably won't give us a straight answer. Because I am assuming a little bit there. Mm -hmm. But your answer makes sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. I fold the engine on the flop. Is this a three bet? You could do it some, sure. Or call. Ooh. A little bigger, maybe. I want to be more polar here. Sizing police. Ooh. Depends. Maybe if all the bounties are gone, it's fine. But remember, I think the more reason he has police. to want to call. Remember, yeah. all... what are you Go doing? Ahead. No, I was just saying the the more reason our villain has to want to play with us, the bigger we should want to build out our three bet size. Not in my asking opinion. you. I'm asking you, what do you do on this flop? On this flop, yes. uh, the I actually own... think we. I'm I'm gonna give up. I believe. Oh my god! Is that terrible? When we get home, you're gonna see, man. That's all. I <laughs> I think we have one of the worst ones to uh, to start going for it with, don't we? I mean, you can try a quarter. It never hurts, but I don't know if it's going to get through. No, no, no. Off. It is going to hurt. Trust me. You want to go half? I think if we go half, we're starting to punt. You got to go a little turd here. What, Frank, what are you going to do? Yeah, you are a little turd. Rafael. No, we cannot uh, dunk in... When we There's are no bunk, we three oh. bet. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. We're the three better. It's a rainbow board. He's going to have trouble pulling equity with his flush stuff that continued here. So this is a spot to bet. Uh, if we bet, we bet tables. I don't know. But... What I size are you thinking? Orange? What size are you thinking, Pete? Uh, sometimes quarter pot, sometimes half pot. 40%. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like you said, 40 I will use. We end. can half. It's not punting. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah, you because yeah. with whole range, like our our range has different elements that want to use half and want to use quarter, and so like 
with our best hands, like kings and queens, that are less likely to get drawn out on, we can just use quarter pot, right? And with our more vulnerable aspects, we're going to use half pot, so like sevens and eights. Mm -hmm. So, can you bring? Do we that have give ups? Do we have can, give ups? Can you bring that sim up? Why is it so difficult, James? I just want to see the range. I want to see what ranges are actually betting here. Are you betting your entire range? I'm just asking. Why is it so difficult? I think you landed on button node here, or did you not? No, you're no, good. Never mind. I'm wrong. Right. Yeah, sometimes it visual bugs when you click around too fast, but this is the right range. So a lot of give ups, huh? We just don't give up base three. Wait, base uh, three is not in range. Oh, uh, whatever. You would need to re rearrange this range drastically. Mm, yeah, exactly. I don't yeah, remember yeah, the we'll suited stuff, uh, and I will is... have like all the offset stuff. Yeah, we have the equivalent of ace three of diamonds. No, we're we are on the wrong node, Louis. Click big blind again. This is wrong. The button the button has traps. Yeah, there we oh, go. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It did the bug. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's All range right. bet. All right. So back to my rant. Danny, you had a note. All right. You had a note. Don't worry. I'm betting half in game. I am extremely worried. Yeah. I thought it's theory give up. No, Rafa, so it, why you are you like, not C betting? These uh, ace bluffs <laughs> are matched with our best ace values. The reason is very simple. I never looked at this spot post now. <laughs> oh my god. I've been saying the same thing over and over. And All over. the value remains value. All right. his broadways missed. I thought I have too many bluffs, so I need to check them a lot. And I thought this. Like I, I would go like 5x, 7x this bluffs and that. then. Check yeah, but do you think X, X. that they think you have too many bluffs? No, but it doesn't matter. I mean, I guess I'm just a little surprised how how often it goes big there. Because I, I was thinking like 25% is what I was thinking. What but... are you going to do with... Okay, what is he folding versus quarter? What are you going to do with pocket tens? Here? Queen jack. Yeah, like you can see there's a, a really clear divide here. The hands that want to go big are the hands that are vulnerable. Nines, tens, jacks, and then the hands that don't are less vulnerable go small. Queens, kings, aces. Yeah. We are not folding much. That's the problem. Yeah. And then the because you have two different sizings, the sizings that are vulnerable are gonna be the bluffs that are vulnerable. So stuff like ten nine is gonna be a bluff here. And then the stuff that replicates your high, uh, your high value hands, like Ace Three, matches with Ace Ace because it holds an Ace blocker and it's one of your bluffs. It uses the smaller sizing. I guess we have to study the turn too, since he's not folding much. And I think he... it, those offshoot combos are still a big jump. Like, I think he, yeah. I don't think he defends king to no queen to no. So then we fold. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah. If you think he folds it pre, <laughs> I don't know. Then it sucks, you know. I think everyone knows. What, but everyone knows what you I'm. You gave him such a good price, and he covers you. Everyone knows I'm Go gonna ahead, say. So do I need to say it? Yes, I would like to hear. It. You should three bet and c bet, almost every time. Oh, this spot. Yes. Uh, I mean, you can. You I don't can. think it's a bad. I don't think it's a bad option. It's a good strategy, I believe. All right. That's How it. do we continue on the turn on a deuce turn? If you bet the flop, I think you have to polarize, Danny. Yeah, yeah, but do we jam our hand on the uh, on the rainbow one? You do. You probably do quite a bit of aggressiveness. Uh, it looks like it doesn't jam. It jams some of the time, actually. The colors are just kind of skewed. A deuce, you pick up a wheel, so you kind of go for it, right? Yeah. Jam or quarter. So maybe... Look, it's range. Range? range yeah, yeah. Turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you bet the flop, you definitely have to keep going on the deuce. Just because it... it it's a range bet flop, range bet turn. <laughs> yeah. 
it's pretty funny, right? I love it. Well, yeah, it's the rainbow effect, too, right? Like, he has no flush draw equity to pull from. He's just always behind your value here. Yeah, pure brick. Yeah. Pure I really like that call here. Oh, oh raising. And then check the, the gallon check here. And then three. And then. Mm, oh, I had this spot in my dream last night. Guy is the queen. It never happens. But okay. <laughs> There was no what did more you, money did you, did you triple check that spot? Mm -hmm. was, that a tr was that a triple check? <laughs> uh, yeah. Check call, check call, check, and then... Oh, if you play check call, check call, I think you probably played it good. Maybe... He, do yeah, you ever pretty. lead when the six pairs? Do you ever, like, block? I don't have six six in my range. Probably not, right? Maybe maybe a few hands will wake up. Um, it may be a bit ambitious. A couple boats uh, and a couple bluffs, maybe. I okay. I don't know how I feel about this unless if you've been like doing these micro three bets like sub twenty. I think I like it. Okay, but if you haven't, I would just play call because they're going to overfold. They're, yeah, they're going to overfold by a mile. Well, you're I would covered always in the, in the here. KO, so I don't think you can call. Sure. But call is same EV. It's call is always the same EV here, and you just don't let them fold when you call. The way I, I guess... understood this is you slowly disappear when you're covered, and there's a bounty on your head. Okay, so I guess I would say it this way: like, where... EV is going to be similar between three betting and calling typically so like what node do you think they're going to make more mistakes in if you like if you're putting them in a node where they have to have quite a few assumptions about like what you're doing this with and is it like value heavy or bluff heavy are they over folding it, it just may be something to consider like dragging them into a node where it's a little more disguised and maybe they over aggress sometimes might be more profitable yeah 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 that that happens sometimes dean but you know that's we That's just why it's. Go ahead. Sorry. This, we just saw Frank use this small sizing with Ace Three off here, so like this is probably pretty reasonable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then yeah, that's that's the proof. That's the proof right there. However, I still like trapping more. I do too. We're so short. Yeah. Like I, I think you just get a you get you play basically range check raise flop and you just get paid a lot. And if you always bluff ace three and never three bet value aces in that spot, they're never gonna know. Mm -hmm. um, I think well, I have I this one. Not. Unless you say it on YouTube, of course. No, no, no. Why I don't have this one? <laughs> His other spots. <clears throat> he was covered here. Oh, so this is final three, I think. Okay. Ooh, Question. Oh, did, 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 did the mystery bounty stuff change, and that's why he folds, folds when he had you covered there, against the fives? Is the world change? Oh my goodness, Frank! What have you done? Wait, did he open button? Yes. Oh. Yes. Yeah, it's the flat. Is it? I have yeah. eleven blinds. I think it was jam also A six. No, no, you just flat in MKO and PKO. No way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Calling it's the way too wide. You jam every ace. It's... Yeah, but the um, mm, look it up. is very small right now. Look it up. Look it up in PKO because PKO will be similar to MKO with reduced um, reduced money. Mm -hmm. Did did one of the did the big bounties disappear and that's why people are not calling off now? Yeah. Yeah. Not equal stack. Do the one twenty three eleven down there maybe. That's small blind. One up from this. That's small one. It's fine. The button can still open from 14. Right? Oh, do cut off. No, don't do cut off. Don't listen to this guy. What's wrong with cut off? Okay. It will have it. less of this premium. How about that? So the same meaning. Okay. So it's like. Uh, yeah, I, okay, I think the there are a lot of spots where in vanilla you want to jam your off suit ace, but in PKO you play more calling. But I guess we're short enough here; it's fine still. Yeah, when the opener's large, you can do it. That makes sense. All right, so it should be good. 
I'm wrong. Uh, unclear old. The small three bet range was crazy there. So, I mean, if you just know the flops coming four four jack, you should shove. <laughs> oh, this is FT already. Uh, so I guess it was, yeah. so this wow, is, what a timely okay. stuck out. <laughs> oh, so okay. Okay, so oh. Did I we can raise this? How did we hey. mm. I think we need to call? Yes. Could we watch every hand? Nope. Okay, so here sounds good. C bet small, which I you think. don't barrel the nine. It's like Not the worst there. card. Check checks. The six comes, he checks again. We check back the showdown. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. Lose pocket three, fine. Fine. He should lead the turn right with three or might be a range lead spot. I don't know. Not range. Should we not power rise here a little bit more than this? Fine, Arturas. 80% of range. Okay. You think so, this way? Yes, I do. I thought it's more like 30. Wrong. But... What do you say, Rafa? In my opinion. Ooh. Can we run FT spot? Yeah. Also? Uh. uh... Danny can, Arturas can. He just has uh, more kings in range. Last hand, if I had to guess, we will just. Sure. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> Pete was expounding on the lead idea. Uh, did he say size up? No, like oh. I, I think there's going to be less than fifty percent leads because there's a king on board. If it was not an ace or a king, it would lead more frequently. So, oh, but it's middle card pair. You could just lead twenty percent. Uh, can I screenshot the last spot? Um, yeah, go back to the previous turn. We'll let our tourist grab it. Well, we have no other sizing for C bets. Yeah, I took it. I'll show us later. And now what? We're talking about ace 10? I don't know. It takes time to, to like, submit some attacker. Yeah. Hmm. This would be a bigger bet, but he's so short that it's probably not good. Just a bet small. Yeah. This could be a check candidate with a ton of hearts mm -hmm. and not wanting to get raised. Okay. That's one thing. I feel like in the um the review we did the other day of the 1K that we watched, we saw quite a lot of flop checking back more than in our games. Mm -hmm. Also, okay. in the high stakes FTs we watched, Louis, a lot of flop checking back. I like that uh, check raise. Yes. I have no option. Could we have jammed pre? I missed what happened pre with this queen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to open the same. Uh, I just need to open the HRC. <clears throat> I believe this could mix. Or maybe even always jam? I will guess pure. Pure jam? So we have a sim for this? Uh, I need to open HRC and check. Because I did a screenshot. Mm. Let's see. It's a 38 guy opening into one guy covering then equal, then cover, covered, covered, covered. We're tied for shortest for 18. Oh. I believe jam should be good here. I don't think it's, I would call ace jack pure, jam ace queen pure. Oh yeah, something was wrong with this scene. Uh, something was wrong with this scene.
And box, yeah, like calling and jamming is fine. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, calling can never be that much worse, I wouldn't think, if at all. Versus okay, cutoff. I have Ooh. this one. This too. This is kind of close to versus Where cutoff. Where can I get this one? It's MKO, Miss V150 FT. I venture to guess we jam it. Yeah, he's cut off. The other guy was low jack minus one. And this guy has three people cover that he covers that he's opening into. He's like the daddy of the remaining guys. And for 18, yeah. I feel similar to the previous hand where like I think it should jam every time, but call is gonna be okay too. And then ace 10, probably just call. Ace 10 off. Probably. Maybe you still jam. Do you have it, Louis? Mr. So, Navigator. So the first thing I think we need to notice here. Okay. One deal flag. Two deal flag. Three deal flag. <laughs> four deal flag. Five deal flag. And Frank is like, no. No, 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 no. We're going to play this $150. I know there's 60 k left. I know you all want to chop it chop, but we're playing here. And then instead of picking the deal button, he puts it in. Look at him. He's like, yeah. Let's play. So the cutoff range here. The 60 k there, that's not in bounties, right? No. No. Oh, so the bounty yeah. was worth uh one hundred twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. Around this, uh, less than buying. Because there was one five hundred left and few min bounties. Yeah, and yeah, there are of min bounties. So yeah, less than buying worth of knockout. Okay, so here, this is the cutoff opening range. Okay. And then this is how the big blind should be playing. Oh, okay. Gen is turn two. So we don't defend king eight, queen eight, jack eight, those kind of hands. We fold. We don't defend offsuit connectors. We're going to oh. jab our offsuit aces a lot because it's a great blocker. We're going to jam the wheels a little bit. We're gonna jam our family. very interesting. We don't really play even nine eight eight seven okay. offsuit. The jam mm -hmm. is pretty good here. Very good. Open this. We see that. Um, ow. This guy raising us every time. So annoying. Are you free? Way? No, is it's free or it's bug. Bug. Uh, bug just bug. Bug. I think it's a C, but bigger maybe spot, but not sure. No, you're 50, 20 big blinds deep, Akunas. You don't have much big bet. Okay. And it's like uh, kind of dry here. Oh, no, no big betting, Akunas. Forget that. Um, Do we defend? Oh, this is the question. What do you guys think? I run this one. I think you call. What is the reason to not defend? I think not. Because of ACM will be hard to play. Well, you first off, you get you're the one with the least risk premium, right? So that's that's in your favor. You're probably defending all your offsuit tens here. Okay. And then ace nine, probably for sure. King nine, I probably need to call here. What do you think? As much as I'm a fan of overfolding, I think this is probably a call. Uh, What's your what do you say? What 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 are you gonna do, Frank? Very happy call. But I don't know. But happy call seems to work. Hmm. 
I thought I ran this one because I was running a bunch of BB defend, defend uh, sims. Yeah. I think they were mostly short stacked. Um, we can check out some freeze out on wizard. But yeah, yeah I don't like defending of two tens because <clears throat> you are dominated very often. But this one might be too good and we are shortest stock. Yeah, I agree. Now what? A little check raise or check fold. Check fold. Check fold. I want to raise. What are you gonna do, Frank? Fold. I think raising small could be a play, but yeah. Yeah. Defend, we get a jack. Check raise now? Put it in? There's uh, second I there. think small check raise. <clears throat> okay, that's good. Oh, he falls for 1.5. Yeah. Jam. I got to pretend I have buffs, right? Yeah. Good hand. Jam. Oh. We really should be watching every hand. Okay, I think I ran this one. I think it's... I agree with them. I, re I ran this one. Uh, what do you guys think? Do we defend? I agree with Arturis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh! No. Wait, did I defend? Wait, I think you folded in game, but I... Right? And why is in VP? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Okay. I must have talked you into it or something. No. Uh uh, you cost him money, Danny. No, I don't no, think no. we're even speaking. I don't I was think anyone around. would influence me. Yeah, yeah. I was no, no, around. no one was here. Uh, here comes. No, no, I was watching you, but it, I wasn't but in the channel. The guy, I yeah, just had the, the table up. Yeah, and the client, yeah. I remember DMing you, like, <laughs> why don't you take the deal? <laughs> Did you run king three or no? Uh, yes, yes, this is fault. King for all is the floor. Oh, okay. Uh, High card, not enough, huh? Oh my goodness, okay. Oh, I see, I see. I was uh, wondering. Okay, I'll tell you what, oh. I will call and my equity will be 80%. <laughs> okay, 80%? Is five. Is nine. What he has five six of hearts. The king three. Okay, so this is the situation. They put down their deal flags. Yep. Yeah. Frank is not dealing, so they're not. So at this point, Frank. Didn't you put up your flag and then reject the deal at one point? Or was that it a different might have game? happened. <clears throat> I feel like that happened in this one. Okay, so the opening range for the cutoff, right? Yeah, so on this FT, in the beginning, there was the Mongolian Rex, Buta. I'm not sure if you know him. Uh, he's very good high stakes Rex, but he busted very quickly. And then it was kind of not difficult. <clears throat> yeah. So this should be the big blinds defending range. And yes, yeah, surprisingly. Well, this guy was opening very wide. I think he was way wider than GTO. Okay. So it could be okay defense. Okay, okay. Fair. All right. Uh, so we didn't see it, but we had this hand. Oh. The button for 3.7 big blind. 3.9. 3 
What do you guys do here? Fold. Tap to fold. You don't push four bigs? No, oh, no, it's high on final table. No. What yeah, else? I think it's fold. Net. All right, I what mean... about 10 9 0? No. 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 Plus is cheating. Don't you need a high card? What about Queen 5 suited? That's close. Yes. Yes. Uh, so? No, maybe not. Maybe not. I'll give you easier one. Pocket jacks. <laughs> Min race. <laughs> race fold. Yeah. yeah, race fold, yeah. Three X, I think. Yeah, so good. Yeah, Queen Five still no. Yeah, we have race fold with kings. <laughs> Ten eight. Oh, so we don't have free spots. Jack eight, ten eight. Free spot. King six zero. Oh. So, queen. Yeah, eight. we need high cards because you got mm -hmm. called very often. But ten eight somehow still goes in. Well, it's better than eight ten high, seven. better than eight high. Very easy. Not find it. Ten eight. Yeah, it might not either. Don't know. What about this? We, one? we have ace. We go. Yeah, I'm happy. Right. right. What's five, the five, worst five. king that you can offset and suit it? Do we skip ace deuce here? No. Nope. Nope. What about king jump. X? We have 3.8. Well, if the previous floor was king 6 0, we're back a position. It's going to be like king 8. What about deuce? And king 4 suited? Is it jam or deuces? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You got 3.8 bait blind. And you oh, what are you waiting for? I don't know, dude. Show I've, show I've seen things. But I've been hurt before. I think you could skip deuces here. I've seen things. Double unblockers, you mean? Uh, you just, you're never dominating anything. You go with threes. Uh, threes is what? Four. Okay, what do you do with Jack the Knock? <laughs> Oh, but it's close. Maybe well. <laughs> Frank question was the best. Bombs, man. Frank uh, asked uh, what king uh, suited and offset we go with. Louis, can, you can show the answers. Yeah, king 8 0, king 4 suited, skip deuces, skip jack 10. There you go. You're welcome. Look at it. Uh, Look at the king jack 9 then. and king 5, though. Jam it. Oh, King Nano. Skip everyone, deuces, skip jack time. Everyone what do you mean, said skip deuces? Look, at, look deuce. to the right on the deuces. Look at that purple. Oh my God, Scotty. Not you too, Scotty. If he ran it down, Scotty, this is the uh, this is a national. I'm not typing it in right now. If Scotty, he ran it down, it would go to zero. Scotty doesn't even 0%. know what, what part, plain pocket deuces looks like. It's never in range. <laughs> All right. Well played, Frank. Yeah, you you just to run ace. like this. We need this kind of run. Okay. And now you said the guy has five, six of hearts here? I didn't say that. And I said I had really good equity. He said 80%. I think it was 80. It could be wrong. The only way is dominated hearts. Chop it up. Jack uh -huh. five. Okay, I didn't expect that combo. Fair enough. Do I should clarify. Dominated hearts with no straight draw. That's why I didn't say jack eight or jack seven or six seven. <laughs> jack five. I don't like the check here. I would bet. I block literally everything. We need yeah. to get all the money in. I could bet really small. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we needed to get all the money in. I think we got max ish. You don't think you think? You... I don't know if you get three streets. You might. You might. Hmm. 
You do block hole calling range. I don't know. What about like third on the turn? Maybe even less. Do I have this queen eight? Nope. Mm, you often check back trap a hand like that, I think. Middle two. Maybe not on that board, though. So many straight draws. Oh, we're yeah. triple eating. Let's go. I wouldn't oh, mind yeah. the check back. We got two big blinds. How the, how the turn tables. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We made a deal at this point. Yeah, yeah. That's, oh, it. that's right. It's already a deal because I, I had a yeah, good stack, so I decided to deal. Um, yeah. And I think everyone forgot about 500 Bounty, and I got this. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, now it's like almost 30 handle in, and yeah, we can stop watching. I mean, if you get to that point, your chip leader, do you even want to deal then? Like, the deal is worse for chip leader. You might still, I know it's high variance AF, but. Part of why you didn't, maybe you'd sold some action, you know, you could uh, still just try to play it out from there and get the experience that you want. So, we didn't see that one, right? Yeah, there were a few more hands we can look at. I what guess he folded this one. one. Yeah, there are a few more hands that we can look at from FT. Yeah, what do you guys think about this one? What's the worst pair that you open? Oh, I got How aggressive people. have they been rejamming and stuff? I don't know. Would you open this? This or fives. Eight. This or fives, I think. Is that right? I'm or... opening his and I mm. might be mistaken. All right, so let's see. Pocket four here would be folding. Yeah, sevens. Oops. Everyone's too short. You want a blocker. Or what? Do you... Hmm. You just don't want to raise fold, huh? What about this one? Yeah, I don't want to raise fold much. Would you call? I mean, if we if we had no. to fold nine eight off, ah, but we're in position. Uh, I don't know. Indifferent floor. It probably makes it in because we have position. We don't defend those offsuits trash. Not even for two point five. Uh, wrong sim. This one? Oh, there we go. Okay. Not quite there. Can you make sure Frank put the right size? It's not a 3x? Let's see. Is it on the left side or no? It is 2.5. 2.5. Okay, perfect. Why are you only anything on Frank's sims? I'm not hating and just want a sanity check. Trust yeah. but verify, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing wrong with like just making sure it's all in line. Do you think you can come back at the end and act like you were there the whole time? <laughs> I have been here the whole just time. Just asking. I'm just asking. Oh. Ken was there watching. He typed GG WP 10 times exactly. in direct message. Exactly. <laughs> so, uh, Okay, so you can't defend here six five off. I think I'm, I'm I would defend here, I'm making a mistake. All right, what about Jack no, six off here from the small blind? I was trying to make sure I understood how this post flop ICM stuff works, and reaching out to some sources, it seems accurate to whatever stage of the ICM you are in. Not just final take. Meet yourself. What do you play here? Jack, Jack six off. Yeah, you jump. 
Probably not, actually. I'm lying. Mm -hmm. Anyone who peeps the sand by linking? Uh, I'm not folding. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go up. I mean, Shipping V is definitely a limp. But What's your white note mean? Uh, I just had help? some notes on him. Oh, it's just like generic note. Okay. I don't know. It depends. Have you limp folded him twice already? Is he letting you limp he didn't get it through? We were always trapped. Yeah, just fold pre. Yeah, I can follow. Yeah. But, you know, if he's a smidge less aggro than he should be, you probably can limp it just fine. So all A's, a bunch of kings, some queens, then we're really tight. Lots of silly stuff is jamming. Suited connectors. Yeah, we can Even apply a lot of pressure to him. If you don't Even play any suited cards too, right? We fold plenty. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. When, when everyone's short, this is very interesting. Like, average stack is low, and we're all very tight configuration. You just don't really want to see flops that much. Kind of want to take it down. What about this one? Min raise or jam? Play in position or take min it raise. down. Just a min raise, right? Min raise, yeah. Do we give up PV if we have no jamming range? Not, Not much. Not much, right? Okay. A smidge. It's kind of nice to jam the ace four suited. In the ace Here, this is a this is a callback to that thing earlier they were talking about. Like the reason you start jamming some of these things is because you get punished. So if they're not not raising you appropriately, those jams start going away, and it just min raises. True. So if if you don't like if you tailor the the responses behind to something a little more realistic and not like super 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 aggressive as they are going to be modeled, uh, I would say you're probably not losing any EV archers. Yeah, makes sense. It's that Galen, and then there's also the big blind defense component of like just yeah. denying him seeing the flop. That, yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. That's another part of it. All right. How would you play pocket eights in this spot? Uh. Well. <laughs> eights. You got, wow. You got the you got the button. It's a little difficult. Oh man, let me dial in and think. Two components. The guy's opening into the shorty, so that should expand him a smidge. Um, you cover <laughs> everyone, and you close position, which should probably expand you a smidge. I think I would be uh, V-pipping with eights. You want to call? Call could be a thing. Huh. I think I kind of want to call with eights. Interesting. Uh, I'm thinking jam, jam lines, so call eights could make sense. Jam is absurd, I think, but calling maybe is okay. Jam nines or only tens? Mm. Tens um, may be too strong. I don't know. What if we don't jam? Or like, not jam, but five big blinds, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah, okay. I don't hate that. Yeah, 4.4, .4, sure. So look at ace nine suit in here. Ah, uh, call nines fold eight. Jam time. Yeah, they're all mm -hmm. indifferent along the floor. What's that opening range look like? Is he like? Did you take a picture? Yes, Louis showed it. That does he? Is it... That's pretty tight. Well, so... should be. He may even yeah. be tighter than this in practice. Yeah, it might he be even skip tighter. King 10. He may skip base 6 suited. Skip base ace 5 all, ace 8 all. Ace 2 suited might be skipped. Queen 10 suited. No. The question yeah, yeah, I yeah, would yeah. have is if you take away the jams, how does it change things? If you tighten them up a little bit, how does it change things? And if you expand them a little bit, how does it change things? Mm hmm.
well, he will not be able to call off the king jack, king ten, queen jack, and also ace four, ace five. Then you will have more free bets and no, maybe more jamming. So, Maybe, because you're getting folds. Those are, I agree, yeah. those are probably converted to folds. So we probably expand a little bit with jams. All right. There are a few more hands when I was wondering whether I can defend peak blind. Okay, let's see this one. This is an easy V-pip, I think. You just min-raise. Uh, how wide do you think we can jam here? Oh, jam? Look. How wide do you jam? Maybe all your suited broadways? Yeah, you're jamming. Louis, Louis skipped right to the answer. But, uh, yeah. Suited broadways and beyond. Uh, the, if we... Why do we jam here? First of all, nice and pressure on button on small blind. Yeah, dude, there's a three way tie essentially for third place here. So they're under great pressure, and you can just kind of, you know, Jinx right there, Jinx 34 is on, under huge pressure. They can't call with anything, essentially. If the min race, yeah, you, you box out hands that would re jam on you, like for example, King Queen. What hands are you jamming? Is ten suited? Uh, well, you, well, you saw the range. A lot of the, the suited broadways are basically a huge part of it, and it wanted to do suited wheels and stuff. But I'm probably under jamming and more min raising. No, what people will jam on us? Because I want to find like a risk fault strategy. This so you're thing... saying if we min raise, what are they jamming on us? Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, it's going to be very, very, very blocker oriented. There is a few more hands, Louis, from FT. Yes, please. We suited need... Asex, suited King, Broadway, Arturis, lots of pairs. Stuff like it's... that. We can see it in, in the chat, right? All right, Scotty. In the group. GG, buddy. GG, man. There are... And Louis, I believe you have a, a fun sweat once the recording ends. Am I'm I very confused. Are we ending? Like we're just like sitting on the. Are we ending? Is it recording? Uh, it's recording. Wait. There are four more sims that I ran, so we is can it, check it out. Louis, is Louis muted? Yeah, the five free King Jack. I, I was muted. I was talking. I was wondering. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, I'm looking for uh, which one did I miss? I was like waiting for the uh, end. The queen, lower, lower. Queen 6 0, 5 3 suited, King Jack call. Uh, this is good. Yeah, this one, this one, yeah. Uh, man, oh, yeah. I'm good I'm fold. Folding. I'm folding. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but how wide do you defend? Or. Yeah. Uh, king, maybe offsuit nine. Ten? Offsuit Queen... nines and tens. Oh, but look, there's a guy with four, man. <laughs> yeah, it's no, very, it's very, nine. it's very tough, man. Like king nine, jack ten, I think is pretty close to like where I'm drawing yeah. the line. Queen ten. Honestly, even if you folded uh, king nine, I don't even think that's crazy or anything. Queen jack, even could it be? Oh man. Ooh, it's his range. You see? Why can he jam? Yeah, he can jam like everything. Which is um also kind of a problem because if you have him jamming everything, then it's gonna skew like how you should behave. Yeah, but he's probably just mean raising all of the, most of those hands. Right, so yeah. like mixing them all with some frequency of min rays would probably be a good idea. Just so you kind of understand, so you know truly what you should be doing. Show response, Louis. Okay. Queen eight. Okay. It's wider, wider than I thought. Yeah. See that this is I 
I have a hard time taking this at face value because the original min raising range is so concentrated with absolute trash that it probably masked the true EV of some of these hands. There. Can I get a small loan of 250 USD? No, we don't do loans around here, unfortunately. Uh, how about a football emoji instead? Football emoji, we do that around here. Yeah, what else, very... right? King Trio? What? What hand? We, we looked at that one. We did, huh? uh, now 5 3 suited and King Jaco 10 9 suited as well. Yeah, everything below this. One, two, yeah. The free hands he below. Would, uh, and he would have would to resolve it, Dean, I think is the thing. So this 5 3 suited. I would probably see a flop here, but I don't know. I wouldn't berate somebody okay. for folding either. Because he's supposed to RFI very tight here. Jinx Eight should plus. be very, yeah, I was going to say Jinx should be very tight here. So you're probably defending a lot of these suited gappy connectors because there's certain flop textures that you're just, he's not going to have coverage on. Like if you Man. get a. Uh, if you get a this five sucks. six flop or something, like, I think we uh, call five four fold five three. Yeah, I know what right. you mean though. Oh, You're right. Yeah, look at this. Five four is like purely in there, and five three is like purely not there. Very tight. I think jamming deuces here, by the way, is suicide. I think that's just okay. like. I'm not a fan of jamming deuces threes. You make them fold sevens. Do no, you though? Sevens. <laughs> do, do you though? You make them fold ace ten out. Are they? I guess they are opening ace ten out. Yeah, okay. let me check what I see falling when I jump. So this is. And you flip versus quite some stuff. Rather than check folding flop. So yeah, he's folding even ace to call, ace ten suit that. Wow. Yeah. So I wonder what happens if you like have him incorrectly calling some of that. Like if like he's from Japan, he maybe he doesn't have a solver and he's like, I got it's I like think he was what decent, is it? this guy. Yeah. Actually. Maybe so. But that is a good question, Galen. Yeah. Because like, you'll he, encounter he, those people. Yeah, like okay, so he's like flash theory optimal over here. He's got ace check off and it flashed at him and he's like, I got a good hand. I've never folded ace <laughs> check off. I think you still just run it because you're still flipping versus them and you never incorrectly uh, fold your equity post flop. Yeah, but if he's like maybe. raise call offing five, sixes, sevens, maybe then you start behaving differently somehow. Yeah, it feels bad. I mean, does folding pre flop seem like oh, an unforgivable sin? I don't know. I think I want to jam here, or no, maybe I just fold, dude. You want blockers. There's too You're many folding. shorties. Yeah, 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 I'm folding. I'm folding, I'm folding. What's the bottom? I think I want a king. What do you do with queen jack suited? Queen jack? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> oh, easy jam with queen jack. Okay. Is it, is it though? Easy? It I guess it's a little it, bit though. tough. Jack ten still in there. You need a. You need a. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Like Jack ten feels. Ugh. Okay. King nine. To... King nine feels hard for me. If I saw King nine, I'd be very tempted to just put it in. Ooh. No. Hmm. Min raise a six a seven and the nuts. Cool. All right. Good. Yep. Seems seems good. Okay. What else did we miss? Anything below that one? Can we just go hunt? Seems like an easy fold here. 
Yeah. Well, the guy should be wide, but still, like, yeah, offsuit combo. So that's his opening range from EP. We have no blocker. Oh, he's supposed to, did you supposed to jump 30% of range? Yes. So this is, this That's is pretty cool. happening. No, nobody's going to be like, they feel handcuffed by the 28. Really, they don't need to. That's cool to see. Okay. So it's ten sevens. Maybe it's nine if you're feeling ambitious. All right. Well, I think this is gonna wrap it up. So thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Thanks a lot for to you, Frank, for sharing your hands and running all those spots. And see you guys around.